down to Hey, Dave! Dave! You're right. Hmm. If you don't want him to be black, you better keep him open. I want you to pay some attention to this lethargy in opera. Yes. Benny, you're dimming a little on your diminuendo. Oh, that's fine. Yes, great. You, from you, I want a little more sweetness. But I'm singing sweet. If you can't sing any sweeter than that, you better hum. <clears throat> And Rocky, MF, that's for you. MF, what does that mean? Well, uh, I think it means uh, mid-feeling, mid-feeling. Danny, you let me down the worst of all. Your moderato obligato was just a little bit uh, staccato. Uh, I'm sorry, but I'm What? I said I'm awfully sorry, but I got a cold. Quick, quick, he's in voice. Play it again, play it again. <laughs> play it again, I say. Come on, once more. Sing to me only with thine eyes, and I will bless with mine. Oh, I hear it within the cup, and I. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, you ain't heard nothing yet. Why don't we polish it off a little? Oh, good! <laughs> Is she kidding? He must have a tin ear. Yeah, we're pretty good. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you something. This thing must have some more crescendo. If you ask me, it's a little bit on the stinkato side. If you know what I mean. Now, Scuno and Glimpy, yeah. let's have your version of this number. Drink to me only with the eyes of the Indian. See what I mean? Yeah. You know what you were doing before? Yeah. You see what they're doing now? Yeah. Well, I want you to reach a happy... Oh. Now, hit that last note. What are you doing? You told me to hit it. You're going to jail him, a minor. Give him a pick and send him home. <laughs> Give him a pick on the head. <laughs> Come on, more music. Drink to me only with my your feet, kid, you'll get a draw. Now, don't let me stop you. Keep right on rehearsing. It's getting better all the time. <laughs> oh, Ma, will you go upstairs? Hey, let's go to my house. It's quiet today. I uh, will never get rehearsed. We're thinking of Hey, Fox, why can't I sing in a quartet? I used to sing in a quartet with six members. I can sing those fortissimo and loud, too. You can't sing at this ceremony. You're the best man. I would say that. I'm pretty good. You're only the best man because your sister's getting married. It don't mean you're the best, or it don't even mean you're a man. Now, do you know what to do when this ritual starts? Yeah, when a guy asks me for the ring, I run home and get it. What do you mean you run home and get it? You already got it. I don't see it. Wimpy, did you hock that ring? Oh, Muggs, you cut me to the quick. Here, your veil, dear. Oh. <laughs> oh, you look beautiful. Oh, then, Mommy, you promised not to cry. No, <laughs> oh, I know, I know. But when I think of you moving clear out into the country, into a strange house you've never even seen. It isn't so far. It's only two miles from the end of the subway, and Jack says it's beautiful. Oh, we were lucky to get it so cheap. I suppose so, but when I think the of you... The owner promised to be out today, and we can move in tonight. Oh, oh. Oh, dear, Mommy, don't cry. You get your nose all red. Come on, let's try on the bed. Oh. I will not Is it Stuffy Stafford? <laughs> hey, uh, it's mighty nice of you guys to go to all this trouble. You ain't seen nothing. This is going to be the most pretentious wedding that Avenue A ever witnessed. Where's Betty? Yeah, she's in the room seeing which window curtain looks best on her. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, watch out for my glasses. You want a police escort at this wedding? Oh, I'm afraid they only go to society weddings, Muggs. You want a police escort? For well, sure. I'll get it. How do you like the police? How does it look? Oh, it looks fine. I think it needs a few more declarations. Hey, Stash, Skinny, Scuno. Yeah. Get out there and rustle up some more flowers. Oh, that's fine. Some more flowers? All right, All right let's go. Snap on. Give me for two, will you burn in your room? What's the matter, Jack? Are you nervous? Oh, not at all. I thought I would be. Oh, oh, Glumpy, before I forget it, here, you better take this ring. Oh, he ain't nervous. Look at his hand. Better stay a cook. Look, hold it and don't lose it. Oh, I won't lose it. I'll put it right here so you can go. You'll lose it if you put it there. Here, keep it on your finger. Now right. nah, you won't lose it. Does this mean we're engaged? Oh, you <laughs> What are you wearing this afternoon? Uh, I'm going to wear my uh, black and white checker ensemble. You can't wear that zoot suit. This is a serious occasion. What are you wearing, Jack? A tuxedo. All right, Danny, Rocky, go out and get Glimpy a tuxedo or a reasonable facsimile. Right. On our way, Mud. Hey, you think I'm wearing one of the monkey suits with the collar and tie? You wear what I tell you, and you'll like it. Okay, well, you get it or wear it. Say, has the agent been here with the papers on my house yet? No, Chet. You know, I wish I was a big airplane engineer so I could buy one of those houses in the suburbs. Well, the houses are steel, Mud, so I couldn't have bought it. I only hope there isn't anything wrong with it. Well, what makes you think there's anything wrong with it? It's too good to be true. Oh, you just got those before the wedding jitters. You'll get over that. You need a little more experience. You really think the place looks pretty nice, huh? Oh, it's fine, Muggs. Yeah, it could look better with some of them pictures on the wall, those uh, paintings, those morales. Not morales, moral. Look, do uh, you guys mean uh, murals? Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. He threw me off, yeah. you know, he's uh, <laughs> dumb sometimes. Well, look, I, I, I gotta go make a phone call. I'll see you later. Okay. Hey, Muggs, uh, what is it with those uh, superbs? What are they? Superbs? Well, that's a place where you got no running water, you got no trolley cars, you got nothing. Oh, poor people, huh? That's right. Let's go. Hey, Dave. Dave! Hey, fellas, look here, look. Look, I got some flowers. Put them back, put them back. I only need a little water, that's all. Put them back. Supposed to bring good luck. Oh, that's fine. Now, Mug said we got to keep the wedding honest, didn't he? Yeah. Anybody got any string? Them pretty poses laying there. Must have fallen out of the truck. Yeah, should I call him back? Yeah, you better. Hey, mister, you dropped your flowers. I guess he didn't hear me. Too bad. Shall we? Well, I guess that sells everything, Mr. Gibson. You have the papers and the keys to the house, and I hope you'll both be very happy. Well, thank you very much. Oh, how about the present owners? Have they moved yet? Oh, they'll be out in plenty of time for you to move in. I hope so. After all, it's our honeymoon, you know. Oh, sure, sure. I understand. I, I was married myself once. Boy, will I ever forget that. <laughs> well, maybe you'll have better luck. I hope so. Oh, uh, how about the house? Uh, you say it's in pretty good condition. Well, uh, it could stand a little fixing up, maybe. By the way, you're not superstitious, are you? Why? Well, the old couple are trying to tell me that the house next door is haunted. On it? Yes, yeah, but you know how old people are, always imagining things. Oh, yeah, <laughs> of course, it's, it's a lot of nonsense. Yeah, sure. <laughs> well, goodbye, Mr. Gibson. Goodbye. And uh, may the house soon be filled with many pleasant memories. Oh, thanks a lot. All right. Bye. Okay, here's everything except the shoes. You don't need them, do you? Oh, no, thanks. He's got his own shoes. And this collar may be a little small for Glimpy, but it's the best I can do. Oh, uh, that's right. Glimpy's got a small neck anyway. Yeah, this is swell. We'll take good care of it, too. Well, make sure you get it back tonight. I need it for Louis to love tomorrow. Okay, come on, Rock. Right, Danny. What's the matter, Jack? Oh, nothing, Mrs. Williams. Nothing at all. Look. Can I see Betty just for a minute? Oh, I should say not. Why don't you know it's bad luck for the groom to see his bride before the wedding? Oh, Mom, just for a minute. No, you'll be seeing her soon enough. Now, you run along and tell your papers. Okay. We was just downtown, and we heard some detectives down there talking about a mob going to break in on Jack Gibson's wedding. 
We didn't think you'd like any of those downtown guys coming up here making a pinch right under your nose. I see. Whose mob is it? Well, we didn't get none of the details. We was in a hurry. I think he said it was one of the Katzman mob. Okay, I'll have a couple of them men take care of it. The address is 32 East 33rd Street. 32 East 33rd. Yeah, at 5 o'clock. 5 o'clock. All right, boys. Thanks, Lieutenant. We'll return the favor someday. Hey, Shorty, would you mind sitting over there? That chair is reserved for the bride's mother. Okay, thanks. Stand still, will you? Oh, you look swell, Glippy. What's the trouble? Oh, we can't get this collar on. Can't get the collar on, huh? Stand back. Let me take a crack at it. Get him from the back, Danny. I'll push in a little bit. Take a deep breath. Now hold it. Let's see, this one goes in here. Mm -hmm. All right, now. I thought I told you to hold it. What do you think I am, a coil diver? Look, don't give me no opposition. Just do like I tell you. Now pull in your Adam's apple. Pull it in. Come on, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Don't move. Don't. I'm stuck. I got it. I got it. Now, I thought I told you to hold your breath. Pull in your Adam's apple. See ya. See ya. Get the drink. I got it. He's all right. Get him up. Let him relax his muscles. All right. Pull him up. Yeah, how's that? Good. How's your voice, Danny? It's much better, I think. Well, don't use it till you have to sing. Tight. Oh, it's all in your mind. That's not tight. You got lots of room there. Yeah, you see that? Look what we got. Yeah, Muggs, look at this. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Now, that's got some class. What's that? What? Rest in peace. In loving memory to Louis the Lug from the gang, we didn't mean to shoot you, Louis. Honest. Where did you get that? Well, on the street. Uh, on a truck. Fell off. You know that sacrilegious? No kidding? Take it back. Guys ain't got no conscience. Can you imagine a thing like this? Hey, wait a minute. Come on. I don't suppose it would be any more sacrilegious if we bought it back after the wedding. Put it in the parlor. Wait a second. Got to return that after the wedding. Take it away. Here, yeah, hold on to those. Hey, that's funny. This is Louis' suit. What are you doing? I ain't wearing this. Don't worry about nothing. Louis don't need that suit until tomorrow. Yeah, but can't I wear my check suit with the belt on the back? No, you can't. This is a high-class wedding. You're going to wear that suit right there. Oh, but, Mom, this suit belongs to Louis. I bet I know what killed him. Just call it choked him to death. What are you taking a collar off for? What's the matter with ah, you? Ah, grab it. Hey, you hey, fellas, I didn't mean it. I'm sorry. Everything. Let's get it back on. You must not move into that house, I tell you. You made one mistake, Louis, but not buying it from the Elwoods. Now, don't make another mistake. Get that face from Gibson. Yeah, but Gibson's getting married today. Why don't we uh, just wait? Do you question my orders? No, it isn't that, Amos. It's just that... Uh, I can't see why this guy'd be any worse in that house than the Elwoods. You can't see. That old couple was too frightened to interfere. But nobody knows what this young fool will do. All right, Emil. I'll get it. And try to use your head. Get him alone. All right. Come on, kid. Now don't take that off again. Hey, the fellow's ready yet. It's about time to get started. What's the matter? Clippy's neck was a little bit too big for the collar, but it's okay now. Oh, well, well where's the tie? Right, Dave. Oh, well, put it on. Hey, there's a fellow outside says he has to see you. I can't see him now. I'm getting married. He says it's important. Well, who is he? I don't know, but he says it'll just take a few minutes. Okay. I'll be right back, fellas. Hi, Jack. Oh, oh Tony, I haven't seen you for a long time. Where have you been? I've been busy. I know you're in a hurry, and I won't take a bunch of your time. I want to buy that house on Elm Street. Oh, don't be crazy. I just bought it myself. I know you did, and I know what you paid for it. 
I represent a party that, uh, well, they're willing to double what you gave for it. What? What do they want in my place? What difference does it make? They want it? They're willing to pay for it? Well, the answer's no. Oh, wait a minute. You can't take a bride in a house like that? Look, suppose you tell me what all this mystery about that house is, huh? Haven't you heard? You know that big estate next door? Yeah. It's haunted. <laughs> what do you know? All right, laugh if you like, but uh, why do you think they sold it to you so cheap? Well, who lives next door? And why do they want my place? Well, let's say that they are e eccentric. They don't like neighbors. All right, now that's perfect. Don't touch nothing. Okay, line up like I told you. And don't forget your crescendos and dim your windows, and I don't want no altercations in the lyrics. Let's go. <laughs> You're out of step, you lug. Well, you can see why you don't want to take your wife to a place like that. No, I guess I don't, but she has a heart set on going there tonight. I understand that. Look, Jack, there's $500 to buy in the deal. Why don't you take your wife away for a few days? You know, on a honeymoon? You have to do that anyway. Explain about the house when you get back. If I had more time, I... Oh, look, get all about business till you come home. Here, when you get ready to close the deal, write me at this address. They'll get in touch with me. This is a place next to mine, huh? Yeah. A haunted house. Oh, uh, okay. Look, Jack. Just a word of warning. When you do get back, write to me. Don't go out there. Yeah, okay, okay, I'll see you later. <coughs> hey, Dave. Dave. here today to join this man and this woman in holy marriage. For as much as these two persons have come hither to be made one in the holy estate, 
If there be any here present who know any just cause why they may not lawfully be joined in marriage, I require him now to speak or forever hold his peace. I now pronounce you man and wife. Why don't you invite us all over to your new home? We could have a party. Well, I'd like to very much, Daddy, but... Uh, well, it's all right, darling. We're not going out there tonight anyway. Not going to our new house, but Jack, why not? Well, it's... <laughs> well, I made some extra money, so... I thought we'd take a little trip first. You know, honeymoon. You know anything about that, Clippy? It's news to me. Well, the place needs an awful lot of fixing up, you know. Oh, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> I... I hope you don't mind, darling. Oh, no, darling. Anything you want to do is all right with me. <laughs> You've got lipstick all over you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 322 Elm Street. That must be his new house. So he is, maybe. Well, folks, I guess we better go. Come on, darling. <laughs> Someday I hope to get married. You know that, Bruno? Someday. What do you got there, Bruno? Man, this is right. What's the idea of the pan? Nothing. I just had my mama to cook it, so it'd be nice and soft. Look uh, at here. I see what you mean. Right? Hey, where are those gangsters that are supposed to be here? Gangsters? Yeah, gangsters. Well, uh, maybe they lost the address, or uh, maybe you scared them away. Yeah, you look like an old-time scarer. Why don't you use some diplomacy? I got my diploma when I graduated from school. When did you graduate? Kindergarten? Oh, I skipped kindergarten. I was too old. Hey, look at the guy! More vanilla. Louis isn't going to like this. You shouldn't have sold that nice young couple the house without warning them. Now, Sarah, there's no use starting something that we can't actually prove. You know in your heart, John, there's something going on in that house next door that isn't strictly honest. But we don't know positively, Sarah. Why, John Elwood, how can you say that after all we've seen and heard in the last six months? Now, now, let's not talk about it anymore. We're out of there and finished with the whole thing. But I've not finished with it. What are you going to do? Phone the police. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. They'll ask a lot of questions, and the first thing you know, we'll be held as material witnesses. They don't have to know who gave them the information. No, well, I wouldn't do it now, Sarah. Well, I would. Give me the police. Police Department, Lieutenant Brady speaking. This is Mrs. John G. I wish to report some mysterious goings on at 322 Elm Street. 322 Elm. What kind of goings on? Oh, there's noises and screams and people going in and out all hours of the night. All kinds of funny businesses. Who is this speaking? This is Mrs. John G. 
Hello? Hello? Take that call. Send in Mulligan and O'Brien. Well, I think that's the place. Don't look very cheerful, though, does it? It certainly do not. Ah, uh, come on, get your tools. We got a hard night's work. Come on, Glim. Okay. Oh, look at the beautiful flowers. Can't put ketchup on flowers. It is a pretty big place for two people, ain't it? Yeah. Hey, there's a house down there. Looks more like the place Jack was talking about. Yeah, it does it that. What do I do with that card? Hey, Clippy, my eyes ain't so good. What's the number on that house? 322. Well, what's the number on that card? 322. That must be the place, then. Looks like it. Hey, what are you guys waiting for? Want to decorate this house tonight, not tomorrow? Let's go. We're coming, we're coming. Come on, guys, let's go. All right. Got all the accessories? Yeah, we got yeah, everything. Got it, okay. Hey, Clippy, give me the key. Me, 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 me. Drink to me. Yeah, yeah. The key to the house. What key? You crazy? Look, I got the address. That's a little detail we overlooked, I guess. Well, let's go home. Yeah, yeah we'll see you back on. here. Ain't you got no ingenuity? Give me that hammer. Remind me to put a new glass in there in the morning. <laughs> hey, Muggs, watch out. You might cut your juggler. Hey, what's the matter with you guys? You scared? Well, I'm not, not a, a bit. bit. <laughs> All right, then go on in. The rest of you lies can perceive me. What's eating you? Man, if I get lost in there, ain't nobody ever gonna find me. Eh, uh, find you, don't worry. In you go. In who goes? In we all go. Come on, quit stalling. Look, well, go on. Wait, wait to do. Look like a brave pipe. Well, go ahead, Cliff. Take a look in here. Jack wasn't kidding when he said this place would need fixing up. Look at that. No curtains, no drapes, no lamps, no knickknacks, no nothing. Where are we going to get some furniture? What about that house next door? What about it? Well, I saw a sign. It says, uh, it's, you know, completely furnished. What do you want us to do? Buy another house? Oh, just buy the furniture. Let someone else buy the house. That's good. It's the best idea you had in 10 years. Let's go take a look, fellas. Put that stuff down. Okay. I'll give you a water, Mac. Look, there's boys in the house. What do we do? We'll make that place look like a million bucks. Oh, oh you are kidding. Hey, the door's open. Hmm. They must trust their neighbors. Wow, this is really nice. Lamps, drapes, books, everything. I wonder why he bought that old house next door instead of this one. Yeah, I guess there wasn't uh, enough room in a yard for victory garden, huh? But she'll make some improvements over there with this stuff. Yeah, but do you think we should really take these things? I certainly. Jack can pay for it later. All right, D.I., okay, I'm his brother-in-law. Good enough for me, it's good enough for my sister. Stop moving it, then. Go ahead, stop moving oh, it. Pick up something. Don't pick up nothing heavy. I know no, i got to get some books in my mind. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Oh, uh, can you give us a room and a bath? Yes. <laughs> What's funny, dear? Oh, well, that's an old joke. I say, can you give us a room and a bath? And, and he's supposed to say, well, I can give you a room, but you'll have to take the bath yourself. <laughs> <laughs> really? Would you care to register, sir? Oh, thanks. There. 
How does that look, Mrs. Gibson? I like it. Very much. Oh, uh, are you uh, Mr. John Gibson? Oh, yeah. Sure, look here. Got my, uh, my draft card, social security, driver's license, automobile club, uh... You want to see marriage certificate? No, thank you. I have a message for you. Message? Call Chelsea 5518, apartment 243. Who the dickens is Chelsea 5518? I don't recognize the number. It sounds like a hotel. They said it was most urgent. Oh, they did, huh? Well, uh, where are the phone booths? Right over there, sir. Oh, uh, well, come on, darling. Pull uh, everything, huh? Yes. Hello? Yes? This is room 243. Well, this is John Gibson. What can I do for you? Oh, Mr. Gibson. It's about your house. This is Mrs. John G. Elwood. I thought you should know the truth about it. What do you mean? When we go there, I'll take along a big box of ghost powder. Well, I just wanted you to know that I'd reported it to the police, and they should be out there by now. Well, what did you do that for? Well, of course I mind. I don't want a lot of cops poking around out there. Oh, okay, okay. Well, well just forget it. All right, goodbye. What's the matter, darling? Well, that was Mrs. Elwood. She sent the police to investigate the place next door to our house. There's something fishy about the whole thing. I'm glad we didn't go out there now, aren't you? No, well, I'm not. I I think we ought to go out there right now. Right now? Yep. But, honey... Come on, darling, don't be frightened. Who said anything about being frightened? Oh. Yeah. Hello, darling. Oh, you got a nice hotel here. We sure enjoyed our stay. Come on, darling. Short day. All right, come on, step on it. You ain't getting no overtime for this. Hey, Dave, come on, wake up, come on. Okay. Get out of there and take that chair with you. I'll carry this ashtray. Watch out for the glass on the way out. Right here. Now we got something to work with. You two fellas start to put up the wallpaper over there, and Rocky and Danny, you put up the curtains and drapes. And get them nice and cylindrical. Slippy, you can sweep. Thanks, Chief. What are you doing? Didn't you tell me I could sweep? Not sleep, sweep. Now, Get up off there and go to work. Dust off that rust. Okay, Chief. What are you going to do? I got to think. I'm the supervisor. Oh, what do I else have to do stuff for? I'll give you consolidation. Do a good job and I'll reduce your dues for the next three months. Thanks, Chief. And don't split that wood with those screws. What is this, Bob? Oh, Mark. And don't get too much glue on that paper. It sticks out through there. It makes lumps. Okay, okay. Hey, that know, goes under the drapes, not over them. Did you ever dress no houses? No. Those lights to be gone. Who's that in there? It's a gang of kids. They're friends of Jack Gibson's. You know, the guy that bought the house next door. Is it some more of your bungling, you stupid fool? How'd I know they were coming out of here? I'll get rid of them, though. Come on, Bruno. Yeah, let me get my hands on them. Wait a minute. 
Why do I have such idiots around me? Let's find out what Hilda knows about it. Where's Monk? I don't know. He went up to see. Idiots. Imbecile, it's all of you. Come for me. What's the matter? The altitude too much for you? No, 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 no. That picture up there. He's alive. Who's alive? Him, him. Up there. First place, it's not a him, it's a her. Please believe me. Him, a minute ago. Ah, uh, you're seeing things. Seeing things? Man, I heard him growl. All right. Take it easy now. Relax. You've been taking too much coffee. What coffee? Hey, where'd you get it? Where'd you get it? Go to work. Come on, step on it. Come on, Danny, get those doilies hung. Yeah. Maybe we should have bought a spirit level to make sure they was even. Coffee drinker. You know, Paulie must be awful hot with that coat on. It's the best example of slow motion I've ever seen. Come on, hurry up. Limpy, we'll play statues later. Get back on that broom. I'm oh, just trying to figure out where I, uh, where I should sweep that dust from here into the hall or the dust from the hall into here. Just sweep it clockwise. Okay, Chief. The point! Feminine! Hey, Fox! Fox! You warm, you warm. No, I'm not warm. Why? The point took his coat off. He had it on, he took it off. Look! He took his coat off, huh? You look. Well, what do you know? He put it back on. What's going on around here anyway? You going goofy too? Don't answer that. Just go over and lie down next to Scruno. Wait a minute. Shut up. Let's not have any animosity. He's cool. Yeah. Are you sure you saw what you saw? Sure, I'm sure. But I, I try to tell Muggs. Came back there sweeping, I got a broom in my hand. I look up at the pony, he's got a coat on. He's standing like that. Then I turn around and he's got... Where are you going? What are you doing up there? Hey, look, now he's in his long drawers. Get down off there. I'm going to send you to an optimist and have your eyes examined. Come on down. 
Huh? If I have to go up there and get you, I'll stab you with one of those horns. I want you two to quit clowning. Clowning? Who's clowning? Quit clowning. The thing was right... Stop acting like a couple of hysterical dames. Who's acting like a hysterical dame? I saw it in school and saw it too, didn't you, too? Never know, but come on, let's go home. I ought to slug the both of you. You're imagining things. It's all in your mind. <laughs> now, whose mind is that in? Like me, I heard it. You think I'm deep? Come on, let's go home. We ain't gonna go no place. We're gonna find out what that was. You know what he said? We're gonna find out what it was. Well, you guys find out what it was. I'll be in the car waiting for you. You wait right there. I said we're gonna find out what it was, and I meant it. Hey, Glimpy. <laughs> you go first. Sorry. What am I saying? What's the matter? You scared? Scared? I'm not scared of nothing, but I'm not going out there. You want to go out, so you go out and see what it is. You're gonna let me go up there all alone? Yeah. yeah. Remind me when we get back to town to give you the Iron Cross for bravery, right over the skull. Sure, I'll go find out what it was. What are you doing? The noise came from that direction. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, I thought uh, maybe shortcut over there if they... Uh, Worry about? What's the matter with you? That's just an echo. It's an echo. See that? What I tell you? There's nothing to be scared of. That's what you think. Well, boys, here we go again. Oh, wait for me! Open the door! Open the door! Open the door! Open that door! Uh oh, there go that echo again. Have they gone? Yes, in the cellar. Cellar? Oh, that's bad, Abel. We must get them out of there, quick. Open the door! Hey, Pat, give me a hand. Take a look in there. What's that, Muggs? Looks like a printing press. Jack never told me he had a printing press. <laughs> Out of the store the Allies. Well, 
what the new order means to you. How to destroy the Allies. What are they doing? Kids have found printing press and everything. Shall I take care of them? No. We have company upstairs too, the police. The Gestapo. Did you hear the Gestapo? No, just two American detectives. Probably dumb ones too. Don't worry about them. Let me see. Gee, that sounds like spies. Yeah, do you think Jack's mixed up with them? I don't know. This is his house. Uh, Jack won't have nothing to do with the Nazis. I hope not. What do you mean, man? Well, he told us not to come out here, remember? Yeah, you're right. He had a lot of extra dough when he left, too. Where did he get that? That's probably where this stuff comes in. Yeah, and how could he buy a big house like this? If well, have... you shut your big mouth. You want him to be your puncher right in the nose? Oh, stop drooling. We gotta figure this thing out. This is no time to argue. Your brother-in-law. I can't believe it. I'll not be able to face the Boy Scouts again. Ah, I don't feel bad, Timothy. We're not sure it was your brother-in-law. We're only guessing. What do you got in your mind, Russ? I don't know. If anybody else found that stuff here, I know what they think. Yeah, that's right. Maybe we better get it out of here. Where are we going to take it? Why don't you put it in the house next door? Don't hit me. Don't hit me. The way you act, you think I was a bully or something. That's a good idea. Put it in the house next door. Go on, move it, boys. Come on, guys. Watch your hands yes, on there, too. They're taking the press out. Let them go. But they're taking the press. Some evidence next door. Remove all suspicion from us. Did you find anything in there? No, uh, nothing in there. Oh, we better take a look upstairs. Okay. Go to the room thoroughly and see that nothing is left to incriminate us. Yes, sir. Tony, you come with me. Get out! Okay, letting Gibson buy that house, huh? Yes, that was a lucky mistake you made. Nothing now. Huh? Nothing now. Oh, we better take a look downstairs then. Mm -hmm. That door wasn't open before, was it? Was that door there when we come in? Was that door there when we came in? No! It just this minute grew. Come on, let's go. I sure hope Jack appreciates what we're doing for him. <laughs> he certainly should. As his brother-in-law, I personally thank you, one and all. Here. Don't look like it. Hey, I got a good idea. Let's call the cops. What, with our fingerprints all over there? The best idea you can get is not to get any more ideas. See if the people in that little place know anything about it. Good. We should have left that door open. Hey, there's Jack and Betty. Well, we sure got them out of a tight spot just in time. Well, darling, here's our little love nest. Oh, Jack. It's wonderful. Yeah. Huh. With a couple of cops hammering at the door. I wonder who that is. Let's have a look. Well, did you find anything? Uh, no. No, there's no one around here. Say, by the way, who, who might you be? I'm Jack Gibson. This is my wife. We just bought that little place. 
Oh, I see. Uh oh. We got our signals crossed. Jack bought that little house, not the big one. I got home. You're right. You better get that press back out of there. Let's go. Well, we were sent out to look over that big place there. Yes, I know. Uh, people we bought our house from seem to think something funny's going on. We couldn't find anything wrong. It's probably their imagination. You know how old folks are. Well, we'll be heading back to the station now. If you hear anything, give us a ring. Well, I don't think we'll bother you tonight. Well, good night. Good night. Hey! What are you with me? Ouch! Ouch! I'm gonna turn my head. Oh, I... Let's go. See now. The sofa. This is for luck. Well, Alan. Here we are. Look it over. Okay. We'll put that press back where it was and show it to the cops. Car 17. Mulligan speaking. We've just looked the place all over. There's nothing here but a couple of newlyweds. Looks a little bad, doesn't it? I can't understand it. There should be more furniture here. Yeah, it would help, but I still think it's awful cute. Well, easy. Easy. Need some help? There you are. Oh, thanks. Leave it just the way it was now. Okay, let's tell the law. Come on. Guess I may as well get the grips. Okay, we're coming right in. Oh, the cops! Isn't that awful? Hey, Muggs! What's this? What are you doing here? Well, just what I was about to ask you. Oh, that's a long story. We was decorating that house. Yeah, we thought it was yours. We found a printing press with a lot of nasty propaganda. Yeah, we thought it was yours, so we moved it over here. Yeah, then we found out that was yours, so we moved it back again. Nazi propaganda? Sure. So that's why they didn't want us to come out here. Why didn't you phone the police? We thought it was yours. Is there a phone next door? Yeah, but that ain't yours. Well, come on. I don't confuse it, though. Oh, what? There it is. Get me police headquarters. Hello? This is 322 Elm Street. Come send a couple of men out here right away. Yeah, tell them about the Nazis. Yes, I know they've been here, but to send them back. Yes, they've gone. That's right, thank you. Rich, you must get the press back to that cottage. They're calling the police. Hurry up. Come on, let's go. Pick it up. Calling car 17. Calling car 17. Return at once to 322 Elm Street. Urgent. That is all. We just came from there. Call you back, but you didn't hear us. There's a lot of intimidating evidence in that house. Hey, what is this, a gag? Well, these boys have found a printing press in the basement with a lot of subversive literature all over the place. It must be a Nazi hideout. How about the people? Seen any signs of them around? Heard a lot of noises, didn't see no people. Well, we better take a look. Yeah, follow me. We got all the evidence oh, down this yeah, right it's up it's up it. Come on. Right it's it's it's
Who's that? How can you pitch it at? I must be having optical delusions. What's the matter? Well, it was a printing press here ten minutes ago. Well, just got up and walked away, huh? Eh? Well, if ink can run, I guess a printing press can walk. Hmm. That's right, you can still see the ink on our hands from where we touched it. That dirt could have been on your hands for the last six months, for all we know. Come on, we better get out of here before we start seeing things ourselves. I'm telling you it was dead. I don't always look like that. What do you on for right there? All right, all right. It was there, and you saw it. But it ain't there now. I can't figure this thing out. We seen that press with our own eyes. So did I. That's what I said. It couldn't just disappear. Somebody must have taken it out of here. You know, I think. Yeah, I'll do all the thinking around here. All right, go to think. You're always thinking. Think. Think a while. Oh, you're such a smart guy. We should think. Hey, Mums. Look. What do you think that's for? Mice. <clears throat> Mice. You'll never learn nothing, will you? Hey! I bet that's how they got that press out of here. Just keep quiet. You follow me. Nobody here, let's go home. Come on. Oh, no, what are you, a coward? You go in there already. What are you talking right. about? Hey! Uh, I've got my hands off. Put your break and go. Come on, Pat. Hey, wait a minute. That's funny. Now what? Those lights in my cottage. I turn them out. Now the lights are turning themselves on and off. Come on, Pat. Go ahead if you want to. I want to see for myself. Come on, Betty. I want to find out for himself, too. But doggone, fellas, look at here. Hmm. What's this? Looks like the printing press. Ah, so it does. So it does. Ah, what are these? What do these look like? Look like them same things we all have been telling you all about. What's it doing here? That's something you'll get a chance to explain, and you'd better think fast. Oh, oh look, you, you don't think this belongs to me. This is your house, isn't it? <laughs> yes, but... You better find Monks and tell him. You ain't kidding. Come on. Are you kidding? You better wait here, honey. You boys stay with her. Okay, Jack. Hurry up, they got Muggy and Glimpy in there. Let me have a try, Jack. Hey, what's that? Must be somebody in there. there. Must be some way to get in there. Yeah. Look around here. We better get out of here, boss. Look, what's the matter? 
Grab that woman. 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 Plan leaves far. Let me have it. In shape? Let's go. Always got to do everything the hard way. Everybody else gets plain, ordinary, common measles. So you got to go out and dig up German measles. What are you picking on me for? I know them guys were Nazis. Did you know I'm sick? Ah, 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 ah. What's going on? Don't let me. I apologize. And remember, you've got seven days more to go. 